So please tell us your name and roll number for this exam. My name is Sarkamuta Kapanti and my roll number for this exam is 31874. Just a minute. Can you just click the key? See it off again. Okay, you're done. Sound of picture name upon. Okay, um, uh, just out for a can repeat question. your name and your role number for this exam. Sir, my name is Lakshmi Mahati, and for this, sir, my role number is 1874. Now, without telling us your name and your role number. Uh, and also your uh, home district. Give a short introduction. Completed my schooling and college from Bangalore Central 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 from College of Forestry, Odisha University of Agriculture and Technology. Now I am working with uh, your professional tour after uh, Nutrition Village uh, Project uh, at ICR Institute, of, Institute for Open in Agriculture. Uh, my hobbies include photography and bird watching. Okay. So you are working here for uh, almost last uh, seven, eight months, right? Yes. So tell us what is the uh, nature of your job, what you are working on? Sir, actually I am in a project named Nutri Smart Village. In this, uh, we are uh, giving various type, kind of training programs to the uh, farm women so that uh, women empowerment uh, will be held in village level. And in this also, we are uh, giving them uh, we are giving the inputs like uh, high yielding varieties seed and uh, for those who care for, we are providing them fingerlings and um, chicks uh, like uh, bonrad uh, varieties to them so that they can develop uh, their nutritional value uh, and also can sell them in their near nearby market and can generate some money. Uh, in this project, we are also focusing on the allied sector like uh, agriculture and mushroom cultivation. Okay, good. So, <clears throat> your entire career has been first class. You have secured very good marks. And uh, also, you have qualified uh, GRF. Hmm. So, why have you uh, decided to try for civil service? If you were already you are in research, you could have continued and uh, you could have contributed like uh, um, MS Swaminathan. Okay. Uh, so give me at least three good reasons why you feel that uh, by coming to civil services, you can contribute more. Uh, so, um, uh, civil service is a service. Um, which is a job, joint point between people and government. In I can only I can uh, work in 29 depart departments uh, of Odisha government. In research line, I am only uh, working under uh, the education or government sector. But in this I can contribute my I can contribute myself to different fields also. Uh, that is my one point. Secondly, already I have uh, already since uh, so for seven years, seven months, I am working for women, and I have the uh, basic problems of. So after the joining students, I can be able to improve them in different fields. Okay. So. Uh... After plus two, why did you choose to join uh, um, forestry? You could have gone for engineering or sciences or any specific reason why you chose to join uh, forestry? Uh, sir, actually, there is no there is no reason. Actually, actually, I have uh, 
giving the OUT entrance examination and uh, on the basis of my day forestry at that time. Okay. And that same your uh, mother subject you have taken as your optional also. Yes. Okay. So how your knowledge of forestry uh, will help you as a civil servant? Sir, uh, uh, I'm actually uh, forestry is a part of our nature. I mean, sir, um, now currently we are seeing various uh, problems like climate change and and etc by my knowledge in forestry i can also um, i can go i can also give my knowledge to how to tackle all this problem and uh, i will try my level best to conserve our biodiversity uh, so that as they are a part so that they can be conserved properly okay So in forestry, uh, what was your uh, specialization? My specialization in my specialization is forest genetic resources. Forest genetic research. Okay. Um, you have studied about uh, uh, the various mechanisms like CAM and uh, C4. Have you studied that? Yes, sir. For the synthesis part. Yes. Yes. So tell us something about that. What is the and give example of uh, at least one example. C4 plants are the uh, cray genetically is mostly seen in C4 plants. Mm -hmm. uh, in this, uh, uh, for uh, these uh, in plants include sugarcane, uh, maize, etc. Okay. In this, both uh, bundle seed cell and mesophyll cell uh, uh, are involved in the res uh, for the respiration process. Okay. The institute in which you are working now, that is ICA, Central Institute for Women in Agriculture. Yes. So this is a like super specialization institute, Women in Agriculture. It is uh, mostly focusing on the gender, so how to improve the village women. So, what is the current situation now? Uh, the situation of women in Indian agriculture? Uh, sir, uh, in village level, more than 68% women are involved in agriculture. But uh, uh, their uh, nutritional, if we compare the nutritional status, then that is lacking in ground level. As they are that. Different from inside the home also their dietary pattern is different. So um, they are uh, nutritionally, but after this uh, initiative uh, by government of India, their nutritional status also increasing day by day. Achha. Now suppose you are uh, the first option you are given OS. So suppose you are uh, selected in OS and uh, you are uh, appointed in a place where the farmers okay are basically using traditional okay methods of uh, agriculture and they are also focusing on let's say only monocropping they are only interested in padding but the government due to various reasons like water is not available much in the, that area plus for other reasons they want the farmers to shift okay from uh, Paddy to other uh, horticulture, maybe vegetables or other crops. Yes. They are not agreeing. Okay. And you, being from forestry background, um, if you are given that opportunity, how are you going to convince them and what all crops you will um, recommend them to grow and what would be the, you know, what, what will be the advantages for them that you will explain to them? And also give me, uh, from the point of view of agroforestry, can some forestry practices also be included in their uh, plan, long-term plan for agriculture, and how it is financially going to benefit them? Yes, sir. Uh, first, firstly, I will uh, connect with the local uh, KBKs or ICR institution that are present uh, 
in this village area. I will tell them all the details. Sir, after um, they will, they will con along with me, we will try to conduct a training program inside the village. And we will motivate them with uh, various examples that are adopted in different um, different uh, district or different uh, uh, area of uh, Odisha or uh, from outside also. Then uh, we can uh, provide them uh, high yielding varieties and uh, try to then uh, we will provide some forestry plants also. We will encourage them to for uh, fisticulture, uh, silvi pasture system, and aqua aquaculture along with uh, trellis method, etc. We can uh, implement that and um, um, after a few gaps, we can uh, um, see the result from uh, they are increasing their source or uh, they are decreasing their amount. Uh, uh, we will uh, take information from them time to time. Okay. So, um, what are the uh, new technologies in agriculture and also in forestry? Okay. Uh, which you think uh, we can use in Odisha? For example, uh, what are the various uh, new techniques of uh, crop uh, diversification or uh, use of uh, you know crops and technology in a efficient manner like precision agriculture or anything so uh, at least two or three new technologies you can tell us from agriculture and also from forest yes sir uh, there are various technologies we are using nowadays but among these uh, different type of agri agri agroforestry systems like silvi pastoral aquaculture along with uh, uh, honeybees and uh, one is trellis method which are adopted now it is in village these include uh, in the pond area they are uh, in trellis system they are uh, cultivating vegetables in along with pisciculture uh, one is that method and secondly uh, different uh, uh, instruments we can use uh, so that they can harvest easily for this we have also and these are, so that they can uh, uh, easily they can uh, they can harvest the products. Uh, sir, thirdly, for mushroom cultivation, we can use different um, instruments so that uh, that will be easy for them to um, harvest more and more products. Okay. Um, in forestry. Um, Suppose you are given uh, the responsibility of an area where a lot of forested area is there. Yeah. And uh, suppose there is one patch of a large patch of the forest, which due to some reason that is completely barren. Okay. But the overall terrain, overall area that is fertile, you can grow some trees there. Okay, so from long term point of view, let's say 10, 15 years, uh, and from the ecosystem point of view, uh, recommend two or three trees which can be planted there. Yes, sir. Uh, we can plant in this uh, fertile land, we can plant Akasya auriculiformis, Akasya mangium, uh, so that uh, there are fertile. Uh, species uh, which uh, has ni nit nitrogen, which uh, itself takes nit nitrogen. It is a leguminous tree, so that their uh, um, soil productivity can also increase. In okay. Um, tell me something what you know about uh, Forest Rights Act and uh, basic provisions, most important provisions, what is the main objective? And do you think that any reform or change is required and how it has performed till now? The forest dwellers, have they got their rights properly? 
Sir, Forest Riot Act uh, came into existence in 2006. In this, uh, four hectare lands are provided to the forest dwellers that they are who, who are uh, residing inside the forest. But uh, yes, uh, somehow they also able to get uh, land, but uh, their actual problem is not resolved yet. What is the actual problem? And suppose you are given the responsibility, what steps will you take so that the forest dwellers get their right? So firstly, I will get to the area where the conflict arises. After that, I will talk with uh, their leader. Mostly they are tribal people and they are shy in nature. Uh, so I will talk with their leaders. What are, I will convey them what are the problems arise on our department side as well also from their side. Then I will identify their problems and uh, inform to forest department along with other uh, department so that they can properly get their area according to the mention forest right at 2006. Okay. Um, so suppose there is a very, you know, big forest. Okay. And uh, the government wants to measure the area it is you know very vast forest is very vast and uh, in it is not a well defined boundary okay so huge area lots of rivers and lost of water what is that there uh, if you are given the responsibility of calculating the total area of that forest what method will you use sir i will the forest I will divide the area into one meter into one meter center, one meter into one meter plot. Then I will calculate the, or I will divide the area into some plot according to my con convenience. Uh, after that, I will estimate the plants that are present in that area. Uh, and I will calculate, uh, I will estimate the Okay. Can you take help of any remote sensing method, yes. satellites and all? You can take. Yes. Gotcha. So you participated in annual water bird status survey yes. in Chiliga in 2018. So tell us something about the migratory birds which come to Chiliga. And uh, over the years, their number has increased or decreased. And what are the factors which uh, lead to this increase or decrease of their numbers? Uh, sir, the migratory birds come from come to Chilika in the winter season from Siberia and different uh, regions. These birds include northern subler, northern quintail, um, godwit, etc. Uh, their numbers are increasing year after year because uh, in 2024 their amount was 14 lakhs um, and uh, it is uh, quite increasing from uh, 2023. Okay. They are increasing their number because of the climate uh, is suitable for them. Uh, and they are getting more from food from this area. So, which is the you know, major or the most numerous bird which comes in maximum number to Chilika? Which which bird? No, which migratory bird? It is um, actually, sir. Um, I don't know it uh, exactly, but I think northern subler that is coming in a huge. Okay, so they they are coming from which place? Not the uh, Siberia region. Siberia, okay. And uh, what are the other birds? More colorful birds, and at least three or four types of birds. Can you name yes. uh, in your census uh, uh, yes, that you have uh, counted? Uh, in 2018, uh, we see Brahmin silver, 
northern sobler northern pintail uh, pochard also we have seen at that time uh, even brahmin brahmin kite also we have found it at that time <laughs> and what is the method how do you count because birds will not be stationary they will fly away and there is also the chance of double counting same bird you will count twice so what are the methods which you use to ensure that the counting is unique and there are minimum errors in uh, counting of birds uh, we count them according to their flying pattern we divide, whenever they are uh, flying we divide the area into one square uh, one meter into one meter square and we calculate the birds present in that particular area uh, it is also maybe it is a triangular or circular whatever the um, flying pattern according to their pattern. then we calculate the birds present in the and uh, we calculate the whole uh, how many it is just an estimation okay and what is the you know uh, normal error range uh, in uh, bird counting actually i don't know the exact okay okay that was fine what is the use of uh, you know, counting the birds does it help the government in making any policy or what is the what is, what is the objective of this bird census yes, like sir. for human beings we are having our senses, so our schemes and all government will make accordingly. What is the use of uh, calculating the number of birds or animals? Um, tell us something about that. Sir, partly by counting their number, we can calculate their, uh, whether they are increasing in their number or decreasing their number. If uh, they are decreasing, it's for uh, many years. Then government can take uh, different steps. Uh, how to clean that? Uh, how to be um, bird friendly to that environment so that they can they can come uh, at that time. Uh, in different types of uh, um, pollution free measures, also government can adopt. Uh, they can uh, they can come in large number. So by sensor, by sensor, we can calculate their number, their thing or thing. We can estimate from sensors. Okay. So, uh, have you appeared in the forest service exams? Yes, sir. Now, suppose you are selected in both Odisha Forest Service as assistant conservator of forest. And here uh, <coughs> for Odisha Administrative Service, both are group A services. That is a specialized service from your domain. So, which one will you choose, and why? Sir, if, um, sir, uh, I will. Uh, if I will selected in both uh, OS and OFS services, then I will choose, sir, Odisha Administrative Service, because in this I can work in different uh, fields. Uh, here, job diversification is more than uh, forest service. I can work in 29 departments of Odisha government. Um, even uh, as a, uh, even I can work in different posts also. For example, as a junior branch, I can be able to work as a uh, block development officer, toss is that uh, like this. And after uh, my promotion to senior branch, I can be able to be sub collector or uh, different. So in um, in uh, Odisha administrative service, I can serve in different posts as well as different department also. So I will choose Odisha administrative service. So suppose we agree with your uh, explanation that you will get job diversity. How job diversity will help you? Ultimately, here also. You will be uh, working near forest. You are expert in that. You have done your uh, four years graduation, then two years post graduation, six years experience you are having. Salary will be the same. Here also you will get a lot of, uh, you know, uh, opportunity to save forests and all. So, what? How diversity is going to help you? Job diversity in the Odisha Administrative Service how it is going to help you as a person as an individual okay 
and uh, you know how you think that you, it is going to give you more opportunity to serve the people in a better way as compared to a specialized service so this will help to do more for the like, uh, I think health department, education department, forestry also. But uh, as a Odisha, as in Odisha forest, I can be able to work for the forest and the uh, people residing in that area only. So I will get more of to work in different field in Odisha administrative service. Okay. Right. Now let us come to some current affairs based questions. Um, recently, government of Odisha has uh, introduced some new schemes. Some schemes names have changed. At least two to three schemes, can you tell me, whose name has been changed? What is the name of the old scheme? What is the name of the new scheme? Sir, partly Kisan Yojana has been uh, changed to um, uh, sorry. Partly Kalia Yojana has been changed to CM Kisan Yojana. And uh, secondly, one new scheme came into it, this Subhadra Yojana, that is only for the women, for women empowerment. And uh, one, one, one uh, new uh, Amo, uh, Amo, Amo College also introduced in this. Uh, Okay. Uh, tell me something about the much talked about uh, Subhatra Yojana. What are its, uh, you know, uh, what is the eligibility criteria? Who are the target, main target beneficiaries in this case? And um, what is your opinion that such populist schemes uh, should be there because they put a lot of burden on the state exchequer? So, two parts of the question. First, tell me what are the features, eligibility, etc. And second, your opinion on whether populist schemes uh, should be allowed. Sir, in Subhadra Yojana, uh, omens the, who, who, those who are not uh, give, getting any beneficiary, that is amount 1500 uh, from, uh, per year from any government uh, government sector they are eligible for this and uh, in this scheme uh, government of odisha is giving 10000 rupees per year that is in two installment basis that is 5000 in uh, uh, omen uh, um, international omen day and 5000 on Rak raksha bandhan mm -hmm. uh, these are the features and they will get it for five years and that so the amount will be fifty thousand per uh, IPR per omen. And sir, can you repeat the second? Question? Uh, my question was like, uh, what is your opinion? Do you agree that such populist schemes should be allowed because ultimately they uh, have a lot of uh, um, you know negative effect or not? negative effect, at least uh, the take a toll on the state exchequer. Okay. So a lot of public money is spent on that. So do you think that such uh, populist schemes, okay, government should be spending taxpayers' money on these type of schemes? Sir, the Subhadra Yajana is to empower the women. So by getting their money, they can invest in different fields and which will empower them ultimately. Even uh, we have seen that uh, in previous region, uh, in previous government, the scheme was Mission Sakti. Uh, we have seen that uh, by um, um, by this Mission Sakti, the increase, uh, the um, women empowerment also increase and they are also uh, generating revenue for the government. So. Sir, sorry, sir. I I don't think it will be a burden for Odisha government because ultimately, uh, after this scheme, uh, omen empowerment will be there, and uh, uh, 
women also can gen uh, by the entrepreneurship they also can uh, able to generate revenue ultimately okay so suppose uh, you are given the opportunity yes. to bring an end to the ukraine russia conflict you have been given all the powers you have all the resources how will you stop this war what steps will you take I will talk with both uh, leaders of the country and uh, okay. One is communication dialogue, that is it. number one. Then, what, what else? I can so I can say that the uh, of is one. Um, it affects both the countries so that uh, one of peaceful agreement will be there in between the two elections. Mm -hmm. I will try to serve it in a peaceful way. Okay. So, uh, recently this uh, potatoes uh, price increased in Odisha and every year some important vegetables, same thing is happening. Uh, what is the main reason for this and being a student of forestry and agriculture, uh, what suggestions can you give so that we can start our own production in our state of essential vegetables at least and why the farmers till now they are not interested in vegetable farming. So the vegetables are mostly perishable in nature. Um, without any proper channel of spending, they are they are losing uh, itself. So uh, we will uh, because uh, in we have seen that in various villages, proper uh, storage methods are not adequate. So we can uh, uh, we can uh, try to Recently, uh, this uh, case of monkeypox we are hearing. So, what is this? Uh, tell me something what you know about monkeypox and uh, how is it uh, dangerous for human beings, how it is transmitted to human beings, etc. Mm. Uh, uh, like this, uh, was found in Okay. So, Odisha has a lot of mineral wealth, lot of natural resources. Still, we are considered as a poor state. Can you give me at least three important reasons why, despite having a lot of 
natural resources odisha is a poor state so three reasons and if you are given the opportunity to solve it what are the steps that you will take there is a lot of controversy going on um, for the demand of some butters for uh, legalization of same sex marriages what is your opinion regarding it uh, should uh, same sex marriages be allowed or be made legal in india what about but what about the social norm society generally may, might not accept it there may be social unrest sometimes it may lead to violence okay so what about that or you feel that no the individual choice or liberty or the decision that is more important i think my opinion is that liberty is more important than social law okay so sure. um like we have talked about ms swaminathan similarly can you tell any woman either uh, you know uh, related to forestry or agricultural scientist who has contributed a lot to the to indian agriculture or indian forestry also for that point one is my religious mother who have been there for a while and i have not been able to check out the organization we say women in agriculture okay so say it out okay who are the prominent women scientists and others in agriculture okay set out the note for the thing that you are faster Uh, what is your opinion regarding change of names of places or institutions like Allahabad's name was changed to Prayagraj in Odisha also there is demand for changing of name of Ravensha University okay so what is your opinion the name change should be there or should not be there be it for some city or some institution whatever Can you just Yeah, yeah, sure. You can you can speak about it. interview the language from the uh, english edition okay when you want to switch take their permission and you can switch okay last question a situation based question suppose uh, you are uh, appointed 
okay uh, in a very forested area and uh, suddenly you get a information okay that some people some criminals they are trying to steal some forest resources maybe sandalwood they are cutting or something okay although directly it is not your concern but still your collector has called you and asked you that you see to it okay and uh, take action against the people who are trying to cut and smuggle the sandalwood you also get intelligence information that these people are armed they are carrying weapons and they are in two three vehicles and they have brought three four large trucks in which they will transport the sandalwood so in this situation how will you react so step by step uh, tell me Okay, fine. So that will be the end of the interview. Now coming to the feedback. The uh, um, poise or uh, balance of answer is uh, smile is good. But upon maybe energy level is not high. It is not good. 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 Set up a bono, but basic here a coach. Okay. So set a gote depending on the board that may be positive, that may be negative also. Because it bohut be authority the curry coil levy set and negative. Set a quality case in soda, minded occupant. Tapare to points like oil, would it answer points say? Set up on who both holla upon a mark set her as you go. Okay. To the point answer the bit. Okay. First. Tell them the crux of the answer, the main points of the answer. Tapare apna jodi dekhu chandi semane samay do chandi aur samay rahu chhi. Tale tikhe explain bhi kardi pare. But semane ko kono suni bhi rahi chhi. Par jodi apna opinion kono hi visare. Haan sir, wo agri korte na sir, wo agri korni. Seta first koi the, wo aithi pe agri korte hi ita tinta point, wo aithi pe agri korni ita hala tinta point. Thik hai. But first tell them whether you are agreeing or not. Seta sir suna bhi chanti first. Say through funny all of our questions, whatever. Okay, how um, uh, Ketada Jo technical in searchy Jotaki, uh, Nihati upon Jania the cat can go through it. For example, upon a school role. Okay, um, or in the Voskovi Sere, Pura details take her in Alamate, WhatsApp for the doctor. I'll send you the details. Okay, how uh, forestry. Ra usage, okay. Um, uh, forestry knowledge ra usage. Apna kemti kori be. Civil servant kori. Jee to apna kuchh ki forest service mein dilebi. Ta tabe mu jodi di ta ekam dilna ta le OS ta join kar. Seita ye strong ho bara. Okay. Then now uh, topical in sab bahut pachari pari mein topic upper jee mti ki optional ras mene uh, forest survey upper pachari pari mein. Okay. So a lot of things can be asked. Hmm. So uh, basically, 
ഈ റെവൻ റെവൻ ഫ്രീഡം ഫൈറ്റേഴ്സ് ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഹി വാസ് ബേസിക്കലി ഗവൺമെന്റ് സർവെന്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് സർവെന്റ് ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് സർവെന്റ് ഹി വാസ് ഫ്രോം റോയൽ അറസ്റ്റോക്രാറ്റിക് ഫാമിലി ഓക്കെ സെ ജാബിയു ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ട്രൂ ദാറ്റ് ഹീസ് കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ടു എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഹാസ് ബീൻ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് and it has been even um, acknowledged very highly by vyasakabhi fakir mohan sadabat okay he had written a book called uh, utkhala bhramanam in which at that time what were the districts of odisha he has written the important things of the district of odisha so there when he writes about kottak so he mentions that you know dhanya tumhe ti revenge five times he mentioned dhanya 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 okay and he says that you have done lot and you are a <coughs> punya atma okay and if you see the contribution of ti revenge to education so you apart from revenge university which is now university of course okay other like for medical education also for girls education also he had taken lot of steps okay so from there the, it was named after revenge it was named by the government of that time with consultation okay among the people right because that is one thing you can um, you know there is a very interesting setup also apan ko the revenge of the students maybe same one ko pachare same man je jantibe same time re presidency college bhi calcutta re tar naming bhi same time re hotla in paka baki time re sethi bhi same din so dai astela okay ki eti fort william ഹിസാബ്രെ സെമനെ ഫോർട്ട് വില്യം കാൽക്കട്ടറെ ബോനേ ദിതിലെ ഓൾറെഡി സോ സെറ്റാ ബി സെമനെ സെംതി കിചി ഗോട നെയിം കരെ അപ്പൻ ചൗതൻ ഓക്കേ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് എ പ്രസിഡൻസി സിറ്റി ഓക്കേ സോ സെറ്റാ ബി ഗോടെ പ്രസിഡൻസി കോളേജ് ടാ ആ നാരെ ഗോടെ ഒരു ബ്രിട്ടീഷ് ഓഫീസർ നാരെ സെമനെ കരെ അപ്പൻ ചൗതൻ ബട്ട് സെറ്റാ ഹെല്ലാ നെ കോൺ സോ ഗോടെ റീസൺ പേ റെവൻസ് ടാ സെറ്റോടെ കരാ ഗല ഓക്കേ तार यहाँ गोटे मेजर कारण कि कंट्रीब्यूशन कटक रट ओनली कटक ओवरअल एजुकेशनाल मैप अफ ओडा ओके बहुत ही इम्पोर्टां कंट्रीब्यूशन लट अफ थिंग नट ओनली दि स्कूल जो हिंदू गर्ल स्कूल टाइगला मेडिकल एजुकेशन भी परमिशन एंड दैट मेडिकल स्कूल अल्सो स्टार्टेड ठीक अच्छे तेनाली ठीक अच्छे आउ गए जिन जो रेवेन्सिया जो तार गोटे ब्रांड इमेज होट इज रेवर्ड एबे रेवेन्सिया कौन से मोस्ट ऑफ़ द पीपल आर नॉट रेफरिंग टू दैट पर्सन दे आर रेफरिंग टू द इंस्टीट्यूशन दे आर रेफरिंग टू दैट ब्रांड ओके सो से चेज करने तेणु चेज इज ए continuous process aaj no change hale 100 barsha pore change hobo thik ach but kon pai change ta kara hochi sei ta amko dekhya ra achi je bila apan koile to setre semti kichi nahi tanko contribution achi nihati babare tenu se point of view negative re kon jauchi tanko against re jo no ko samain jo ta hetela seti tankar kichi ota imprudent action se karthile you have to understand that he was not a social worker or a freedom fighter he was a basically he was a commissioner he was a uh, servant of the crown of the british east india company thik ach no so tankar labh pai ja jemti hobe se seya karchu tanku expect kariba ki se odia ko bhalo pai kaam karibe sabu bele tanku ame praise karuchu seti pai ki being uh, someone uh, you know the british hero See education by kichi kama korichan but again you cannot equate him with a freedom fighter or something okay then ha tankara imprudent decisions pai 
लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव लॉस्ट देयर लाइफ दैट इज करेक्ट सो वी आर नॉट आमे कोन ओटे स्टेट ऑनर ताको ना रिकॉर्ड दूच ओटे एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन ते करा जाई छी काहे कि ना सेही डोमेन में ताकर कंट्रीब्यूशन रही छी ओके तनो सेट आपण केमिति तर्कट रखबे डिपेंड्स ऑन यू जने यदि टोटली मना भी कर दूच कि नै ओवरऑल ओवरऑल जदि ताले हमें कहि परबा कि जहार गोटे हिस्टोरिकल कॉन्टेक्स्ट अछि राय अगराज रहला तो सेटी हमें रिनेमिंग करू एटा रिस्टोरेशन होच नाटा प्रथम प्रयागराज जी थिला ताकु के कोन इनवेडर्स माने ना चेंज कर कि ताकु अलावा कर दत रिस्टोर टू प्रयागराज हैदराबाद रा ना आगुरु एटलीस्ट इन मेनी ऑफ द वैदिक लिटरेचर यू फाइंड दैट देयर इज मेंशन ऑफ समथिंग कॉल्ड भाग्यनगर जोडा की ज्योग्राफिकल लोकेशन सही हैदराबाद पाखा पाखी आस ताकु जदी आगुरु को गवर्नमेंट आसिला असी तो भाग्यनगर कर देला सेटा रिनेमिंग हैलन सेटा रेस्टोरेशन हैला सेमती कर्णावती अहमदाबाद रो ओरिजिनल नाटा वैदिक नाटा कर्णावती थिला ठीक है तो से हिसाब से सेटा करा दैट इज अ डिफरेंट इशू बिकॉज दैट अ हिस्टोरिकल प्रूफ इज देयर दैट द नेम्स ऑफ दिस सिटीज वर दिस ओके एंड with the passage of time and the change in politics with the conquerors they gave it separate names okay how the nuwa nuwa conquerors as the sin nuwa nuwa naam dei ki challe jetto bole ami independence pailu ta pore kon ta rahiba ta thila so amaro setto bole jo government thile se mane status quo maintain kore ki jaha hei jai chi hei jai chi taku ebe puni change koriba ku jodi jiba bahut jinsho change kore apai padibo तेणु जहाँ अच्छी था नथिंग विल चेंज ओके मैंने यही कंटेक्स्ट है बेसिक चेंज बट देर आर मेनी कंट्रीज जो मैंने कल्चर को रिस्टोर कर टेक फॉर एग्जांपल दिस टर्की सो देर वाज ए बिग ट्रेन स्पेस कॉल्ड हैजिया सोफिया से हैजिया सोफिया डा ओरिजिनली से टर्क्स मैंने जो थे से माने ताकु तांको प्रेयर्स तो यूज करते जतले ता परे फणी क्रिश्चियन रूल हैला से माने ताकु यूज करले चर्च करी की एबे रिसेंटली दि तीन वर्ष आगुरु इट हैज अगेन बीन कन्वर्टेड टू इस्लामिक स्ट्रक्चर कुछ बले तो सो मेनी कंट्रीज दे डू से माने रिस्टोर ताको कया कथा एटा ओरिजिनली ए आथिला आमे ताकु रिस्टोर करू ओके आउ जदी सेम दिन से हम इंडिया रे करबे त तो बहुत प्रॉब्लम सब बट At least जोड़ा की basic की जोड़ा की बहुत important से उड़ा कॉरी बरे किच्छी अस्पताल because we cannot sweep the history under the carpet okay जोड़ी historical evidence रहू ची so and because जब दिया पुण्य से डा bond कर दे बे you are taking away the right of some person तारे जो descendants सब वो अच्छा नहीं से माने कह रहा है ना ancestors में नया build कर दिले तो more right हो ची okay so it becomes a very complicated question दर सही कारण पई से माने आउ किसी से नेम चेंजेस एंड ऑल से माने प्रेफर करले नी द इनिशियल गवर्नमेंट्स लेटर ऑन विद द चेंज इन आइडियोलॉजी चेंज इन गवर्नमेंट से माने गर नुवा गवर्नमेंट्स जो आसीले से माने गर कहया थिला कि नाही जोडा आगुरु ना दिया आइतिला हम सही हिसाब रे ओके स्पेशली जो अब्राहमिक रिलीजियंस जोडा की हम इंडिया बाहर जो धर्म ओडा आछन से माने जा जा भी तांकर कंट्रीब्यूशन करछंदी जो नेम पूरा चेंज हे छि से गुडा को से माने अंडू करिया पे चाहौ छि फेस बाय फेस देयर डूइंग दैट संभाजी नगर हे गला से पटे ओटी महाराष्ट्र रे ओके एंड मेनी अदर सेम टाइप ऑफ थिंग्स सर सो नेम त जो चेंज कराउ छि वो बेसिस रे चेंज कराउ छि ओडिसा रे कोन हिनी ओडिसा रु ओडिसा हे गला बट सेटा कोन पई हला कि कट्टा करु हमें कट्टा को कहू छु ओके ब्रिटिश माने एंग्लिशाइज्ड वर्जन लिखतले सी यू टी टी ए सी के बट गवर्नमेंट हो जगह रे के टी ए के लिखु छु सेमती ब्रह्मपुर से माने लिखु दिले बेलहामपुर केना रफला ब्रॉट से माने कहि परियन ताकर प्रोनाउंसिएशन रे नाही ओके बट एबे हमें ताकु ब्रह्मपुर लिखौ छ गवर्नमेंट इज यूजिंग दैट सेम तो एगुडा कोन दीस आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू रिलीजन दीस आर बेसिकली बालेश्वर है गला लॉट ऑफ अदर प्लेसेस ओके 
ସେଗୁଡା ଆମେ ଚେଞ୍ଜ କରୁଛୁ କଣ ନା ଆମର ଲୋକାଲ ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଟିଟାକୁ ଇଏ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ସେଥିରେ ଏତେ ଅସୁବିଧା କଥା ନାହିଁ ବଟ୍ ଯୋଉଠି ଏଇ ଯୋଉ କଲଚରାଲ ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଟି ଇନଭଲ୍ଭ ରହୁଛି ପ୍ରାୟ ଆଲାହାବାଦ ଟୁ ପ୍ରୟାଗରାଜ ଓକେ ଦିସ୍ କାଇଣ୍ଡ ଅଫ ଥିଙ୍ଗସ ସେଇଟା ଟିକେ ଭାବିକି କରିବା ପାଇଁ ପଡିବ ଓକେ ସୋ ଚେଞ୍ଜିଂ ଅଫ ନେମ କୋ ବେସିସ ରେ ହଉଛି ସେଇଟା ଇମ୍ପୋର୍ଟାଣ୍ଟ ଓକେ ଏ ଇଂଲିଶାଇଜ ନେମ ଗୁଡା ନିହାତି ଚେଞ୍ଜ ହବା ଦରକାର କାରଣ ସେମାନେ ଗୋଟେ ପ୍ରାକ୍ଟିକାଲ ରିଜନ ପାଇଁ ଦେଇଥିଲେ ଠିକ ଅଛି ଏବେ ସେ କାରଣଟା ଆଉ ନାହିଁ ତ କଣ ଦରକାର ସେଟା କର ଓକେ ସୋ ସେଇଟା ଗଲା ତାପରେ ଆପଣଙ୍କର ଆଇ କଣ୍ଟାକ୍ଟ ଭଲ ଥିଲା ଓକେ କମ୍ପୋଜର ପୋଏଜ ସେଗୁଡା ସବୁ ବହୁତ ଭଲ ଅଛି ଯୋଉ ଜିନିଷଟା ଜାଣିନାହାନ୍ତି କ୍ଲିୟରଲି ମନା କରିଦେବେ କରୁଛନ୍ତି ଆମର ଦୁଇ ତିନିଟା ଯାକ ସ୍ମାଇଲ ୱାଜ ମେଣ୍ଟେନ ଦଟ ଇଜ ଭେରି ଗୁଡ କେତେଟା ଜାଗାରେ ଆପଣ କହିବା ଆଗରୁ ଟିକେ ସେଇଟା ରହିବ ତ ସେଇଟା ଓନ୍ଲି ମିରର ଇଣ୍ଟରଭ୍ୟୁଜ ଦେଲେ ସେଇଟା ପଳେଇବ ବଟ ଓଭରଅଲ ଯଦି ମୋତେ ମାର୍କିଂ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ହବ ୟୁ ୱିଲ ଗେଟ୍ ୱାନ୍ ଫର୍ଟି ଓକେ ଆଜିର ଇଣ୍ଟରଭ୍ୟୁ ପାଇଁ ୟୁ ୱିଲ ଗେଟ୍ ୱାନ୍ ଫର୍ଟି ସେଇଟା ଆପଣ ୱାନ୍ ସିକ୍ସଟି ୱାନ୍ ସିକ୍ସଟି ଫାଇଭ କୁ ଟ୍ରାଏ କରନ୍ତୁ ତାକୁ ଆହୁରି ଇମ୍ପ୍ରୁଭ କରିବା ପାଇଁ ଓକେ ଆଉ ଓପିନିୟନ ବେସ୍ଡ କ୍ୱେଶ୍ଚିନ୍ସ ରେ ପଏଣ୍ଟସ ରେ ଆନ୍ସର ଦେବେ ତାହେଲେ ବେଟର ମୋର ଫାଷ୍ଟ ପଏଣ୍ଟ ଏଇଟା ସେକେଣ୍ଡ ପଏଣ୍ଟ ଏଇଟା ଥାର୍ଡ ପଏଣ୍ଟ ଓକେ so any other questions or uh, any other thing you would like to ask acha sei ta apan kon karibe just keep in mind okay so mind re rakh debe mate daran to nok ki bhabibe jodi apan tale kichu asubidha nahi minimum 3 ta point debaru chenti nahi ki 5 6 ta ki 10 ta point debaru okay 